Test 3 Hello, this is the Cambridge English Starters Listening Test. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. My friends are in the classroom. Is Hugo there? Yes, he's looking at the poster on the wall. Oh, yes. I see him. Hugo loves animals. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's opening the cupboard? That's Sue. I like Sue's baseball cap. She's got lots of them. That's her favorite one. Two. Where's your friend Alex? He's painting a picture of a donkey. Alex's painting is really good. It's fantastic. Three. And that's Lucy. She's standing next to the door. And she's wearing shorts. Lucy likes wearing them. Okay. Four. Can you see Matt? Is Matt holding a big box of crayons? Yes, he's walking to the table with them. Great. Five. And... One child's talking to the teacher. That's Jill. I like her. Does Jill ask the teacher a lot of questions? Oh, yes. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's opening the cupboard? That's Sue. I like Sue's baseball cap. She's got lots of them. That's her favorite one. Two. Where's your friend Alex? He's painting a picture of a donkey. Alex's painting is really good. It's fantastic. Three. And that's Lucy. She's standing next to the door. And she's wearing shorts. Lucy likes wearing them. Okay. Four. Can you see Matt? Is Matt holding a big box of crayons? Yes, he's walking to the table with them. Great. Five. And one child's talking to the teacher. That's Jill. I like her. Does Jill ask the teacher a lot of questions? Oh, yes. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the picture. Listen and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Do you know this boy? Yes, he's one of my friends. What's his name?
Bill. It's Bill. You spell that B I L L. What's he looking at? A drawing of a monster. It's got lots of arms. How many has it got? Six. It's got six arms. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Has Bill's monster got a name? Yes. Its name is Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you spell that name? Ugly. You spell it U G L Y. Two. Bill's got lots of drawings of monsters. He puts them on his bedroom wall. How many drawings of monsters has he got? Fifteen. Pardon? Fifteen. Wow. Three. Does Bill have drawing lessons at school? Yes, he does. What's his teacher's name? Mrs. Rice. You spell her name, R, I, C, E. Do you know Mrs. Rice? No, I don't. Four. Are there lots of children in Bill's class? Yes, there are twenty boys in his class. Twenty boys. Are there girls too? No, there are no girls at Bill's school. Five. So, which school does Bill go to? He goes to Park School. Park School, P A R K. Yes, Bill loves his school, and drawing is his favourite lesson. Well, that's great. Now listen to part two again. One. Has Bill's monster got a name? Yes. Its name is Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how do you spell that name? Ugly. You spell it U G L Y. Two. Bill's got lots of drawings of monsters. He puts them on his bedroom wall. How many drawings of monsters has he got? Fifteen. Pardon? Fifteen. Wow. Three. Does Bill have drawing lessons at school? Yes, he does. What's his teacher's name? Mrs. Rice. You spell her name, R, I, C, E. Do you know Mrs. Rice? No, I don't. Four. Are there lots of children in Bill's class? Yes. There are twenty boys in his class. Twenty boys. Are there girls too? No, 
There are no girls at Bill's school. Five. So which school does Bill go to? He goes to Park School. Park School. P A R K. Yes. Bill loves his school, and drawing is his favourite lesson. Well, that's great. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. What does Kim want? Can I come shopping with you, Dad? Yes. Would you like some new jeans, Kim? No, some new sunglasses. And I want a new camera. Okay, let's go. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What can Tom have for dinner? Can we have fish and chips for dinner today, Mom? Not today, Tom. But we've got sausages. You like those? Can we have tomatoes and peas with them? Yes, we can. Two. Where's Anna? Where's Anna, Dad? Is she in the garden? No, she isn't. She's sleeping. Shh. In her bedroom? No, in the living room, in the armchair. Three. Which is May's mouse? Is that your mouse, May, the one with gray ears? No, my mouse has got a gray tail, but his ears are white. The one with the gray body too? No, it's got a white body. Look, it's that one. Four. Which sport is Ben doing today? Is Ben playing hockey today? Not today. He's playing baseball with his friends. Oh, what's your favourite sport, Grandpa? I love badminton. It's great. Five. What's Alex doing now? What's Alex doing, Mom? Is he riding his bike? No, he's in his bedroom. Is he drawing pictures again? No, he's playing his new computer game. Now listen to part three again. One. What can Tom have for dinner? Can we have fish and chips for dinner today, Mom? Not today, Tom. But we've got sausages. You like those? Can we have tomatoes and peas with them? Yes, we can. Two. Where's Anna? Where's Anna, Dad? Is she in the garden? No, she isn't. She's sleeping. Shh. In her bedroom? No, in the living room, in the armchair. Three. Which is May's mouse? Is that your mouse, May, the one with gray ears? No, my mouse has got a gray tail, but his ears are white. The one with the gray body too? 
No, it's got a white body. Look, it's that one. Four. Which sport is Ben doing today? Is Ben playing hockey today? Not today. He's playing baseball with his friends. Oh. What's your favourite sport, Grandpa? I love badminton. It's great. Five. What's Alex doing now? What's Alex doing, Mom? Is he riding his bike? No, he's in his bedroom. Is he drawing pictures again? No, he's playing his new computer game. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. There are lots of birds here. Can I colour one of them? Yes, there's a bird on the car. Can you see it? The bird on the car? Oh, yes. Good. Colour it blue. Can you see the blue bird on the car? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Now, let's colour the bird under the tree. OK. What's colour? Colour the bird under the tree yellow, please. OK. I like doing this. Two. And there's a bird on the dog's head. <laughs> yes, it's funny. Can I colour that one? Yes, you can. Colour the bird on the dog's head pink. OK. I'm doing that now. That's my favourite colour. Three. One bird is behind the girl. Can you colour that one too, please? The bird behind the girl? OK. Can I do it red? Yes, that's good. Great. Four. Now, find the bird in the flowers. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Good. Colour the bird in the flowers brown. Oh, OK. Five. One bird's flying. Yes, look, it's flying. Would you like to colour that bird now? Yes, I would. OK. Colour it green. OK. I love that colour too. Great. Well done. Thank you. Now listen to part four again. One. 
Now, let's colour the bird under the tree. OK. What colour? Colour the bird under the tree yellow, please. OK. I like doing this. And there's a bird on the dog's head. Yes, it's funny. Can I colour that one? Yes, you can. Colour the bird on the dog's head pink. OK. I'm doing that now. That's my favourite colour. Three. One bird is behind the girl. Can you colour that one too, please? The bird behind the girl? OK. Can I do it red? Yes, that's good. Great. Four. Now, find the bird in the flowers. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Good. Colour the bird in the flowers brown. Oh, OK. Five. One bird's flying. Yes, look, it's flying. Would you like to colour that bird now? Yes, I would. OK, colour it green. OK, I love that colour too. Great, well done. Thank you. That is the end of the starter's listening test.